Hi guys. <laughs> Hello everyone that tune into this video. Where have I been for two months? Today I'm gonna do like a little update video just to talk about what we been doing for two months, what's been like going on. So let's get into it. Y'all, the last thing y'all saw was Keon's birthday party. But before that, we moved and we got a bunch of stuff from Dre Parents to help us um, get like started since we didn't have anything, including this truck. Um, and what else we got? What else we got? A dog. <laughs> That's the last thing y'all saw is we got a dog. And the last time y'all saw us, we actually bought a couch. All right, y'all. So, we are at the city of today. Ivan Smith Furniture. We at Ivan Smith Furniture. Because the other day we saw we saw the perfect couch. Even though we got a couch. <laughs> Even though we got a couch, we saw the perfect couch and we're about to see if we can get our couch. There it is, y'all. Wait, this the whole couch? No, ah. we don't want it this big. It won't fit. Y'all want to sit? Yeah. yeah. Wait, like how, I like how much mommy. of this couch will we get? Y'all so see the color this of this? This is why Dre want this, y'all. Because of these. Oh, that's what you want? They're very unique. Oh, oh now y'all can see it. This is the couch, but this Mommy. is large. We want Mommy. the three pieces. Wait, can we this too? Huh? Can this come with it? No, we ain't getting out of it. All right, so there's the first piece. Um. Oh, okay, that's the three feet. That's the third piece. Oh my God, that thing's huge. <laughs> You're again. Y'all got the soft one, mommy? Yeah. We'll put one piece on the back of the truck and the other two pieces on the back of the U-Haul trailer. And now Dre is about to get the neighbor to come help him put everything on in the house because y'all know I can't really do it and then we're gonna take the trailer back and then when we come back home we gonna take it out and see how it look and stuff like that because we only got the trailer for like four hours so we gotta get that back
Now, if we move this, we might have to move it back. Oh, no, we ain't moving it today. Well, I set up everything just to move it. Well, that's what I'm saying. So I can look at it. Because if it go this way, we already said that we're not going to put the thing on there. What? What thing? If we put it this way, we're going to have to put the end of No, we'll put it this way. Then the tank is set. will go over there. Then we'll put the Oh, you want to start it this way? Yes. So oh, it'll be out the whole time, I'm thinking this way. No, I think All right, so. the only two ways is this way or turn it in this way. That's the only two ways I'm trying to do it. Personally, I feel like that was a stupid decision because Dre got his signing bonus and we had to pay half of the couch and like all the money we had just kind of like had to go to stuff we've been paying. We've been buying without having the money and it just, it was just stupid. It's just something that you just should not do. If you don't have the money right then, don't buy it. And I'm pretty sure if we would have had the money, we probably would never have gotten the couch. Because we would have just found another way for $2,000 to get spent. But at the same time, Dre feel like it was necessary for us to make the mistake. So that we don't make the mistake again. Or make a bigger purchase and make, a, make the same mistake. Like we learned our lesson. So, you know, everything happened for a reason. Yeah, don't let paying four turn you into they hoe. <laughs> That's a great quote. <laughs> Shortly after that, Dre left. Dre left. He went to school for 30 days. And he had to learn, I don't know. Human resources. I had to learn a whole bunch of army regulations to become a human resource specialist. And he had to take a bunch of tests and he had to pass the tests and it was super stressful for him. But he passed and now he is officially passed with a 95 average, 94 or 95 average overall. Yeah. Well, now he is offic officially in the HR department yes, sir. in the army and he is no longer in a combat, combat MOS, MOS. <laughs> yes. which is a combat job like infantry or infantry support <clears throat> where like you basically like boots on the ground soldiers like in the fight he is like office work so we super excited about that yes Everybody say congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> After he left from school, I actually got the household goods, y'all. I got my furniture from Germany. And everything was broke. Every this is all broken. Mommy. Hold on, B. 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 Rocky. 
<laughs> Everything was broken. We are we had to um put in a claim. They had to come inspect everything. Malachi is still sleeping on the mattress on the floor. We sleeping on the mattress on the floor. Like, how do you break a box spring? Um, they broke my backyard patio set. Crushed it. Crushed. They broke our um coffee table. Coffee table. Crushed it. Nightstand. Crushed it. Um, you put them pictures in there. Yeah, I'm gonna put them in there. <laughs> Um, and apparently everything got broken before we even left Germany because of how they, whoever packed our stuff inside the crates, they just pushed all our stuff in there and they broke. Everything that was in the first crate was completely destroyed. All the furniture was like destroyed. So we put in a claim for that. Um, some people came out like a week ago to um inspect and take pictures of the furniture just to make sure like we wasn't lying about the stuff being damaged and broken so they came to do that and now we just waiting to hear back to see if they gonna take the furniture with them or if we could throw it away and like when we gonna get a payment because how much all that stuff came to about four thousand so if we're gonna get our full payment and if we do, then they gotta when we get that payment, um, we're gonna use it obviously to put the furniture back in the house. Cause right now sleeping on the floor is like not it at all whatsoever. Um, okay, so let's talk about the dog right quick. So yes, we did get a dog. Um we actually got picked up a dog on the side of the road somebody dumped the dogs and then somebody else got them when they was puppies and we and they was on the side of the road giving them away for free so we got one but after about two or three months of having her i say like two months of having her she ended up showing food aggression not towards me or dre but towards my youngest children and she ended up biting my youngest son um while she was eating her food and then shortly after that i was sitting beside her eating a piece of chicken and my middle child was petting her and she turned around and tried to bite him. And I feel like she tried to bite him because I was eating. And she was like feeling like I guess he was in the way. It was like food, very food driven. Um, and a lot of people were saying how we could like fix it and like spend time with her and do all that stuff. But honestly, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> We didn't, we don't have the time or the patience patience or the resources to do what it takes to get a dog to not have food aggression. So for the safety of my children, the dog did have to go. We gave her to the shelter, and we no longer have a dog. Yay! I'm happy. We no longer have a dog. Um, I want another pet, but Dre is like, no, it was too big of a responsibility, and we got a lot of other things going on right now, so it's not really the right time to get another pet, but I really, really, really want a kitten, and I don't know, maybe one day we'll get it, but anyways, the last update, the last major life update that we have for you guys is um while dre was in school i actually found out that i am pregnant 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 big p pregnant with baby number four yeah i'm gonna insert a clip of of me finding out that i was pregnant while he was gone so off the rip we're going with this one that just 
let you know if you're pregnant or not. And then if I am, I'm going to take this one to see how dark the line is because it should be pretty dark by now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and I will be back. All right, you guys, so I just took the test. If y'all can hear the freaking toilet. And I'm about to wash my hands right quick. Put it up a little bit. Oh. I'm all over the place. Okay, I'm about to wash my hands. And I'm gonna go check it and see what it say. I'm not really feeling nervous. Um, I'm hoping that it says yes, honestly. But if it don't say yes, then I know up here to probably be on in a couple of days and I just need to wait or maybe it's just changing. <sighs> but let me go ahead and see if it's ready now. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and just grab it like this. Okay. Oh, y'all, yeah, I got it right here. And so, anyways, after I got pregnant, y'all, I would say like the next week after, I got really, really, really sick. And. I'm talking about like sick. I couldn't do nothing. So that's why I stopped posting. That's why I wasn't um, putting out videos or making content because I literally was doing the bare minimum, just cooking meals, just barely cleaning up and just waiting for him to get back because I really need the support. But now I am 13 weeks. I'm 13 weeks pregnant and I feel great. I finally feel like myself again. I do be still, I still be super tired, but I don't feel sick at all no more. So I'm finally pushing into the second trimester. Yes. And now I can get back to being myself, but I had to like stop and like just do the bare minimum during this pregnancy and this is sick as i ever been with all my pregnancies i ain't never been this sick before but um yeah so that's why he won't let us get another pet y'all is because i'm pregnant and we finna have a baby and we he just don't feel like taking care of another responsibility when we finna have a baby coming is the smartest thing to do we still got an addition coming to the family. It's just not. It's just actually a person. Anyways, you got anything to say about the pregnancy? The pregnancy has been a blessing for her because she's been able to eat cheese, drink milk, eat a little pork, eat a little beef, eat a little this and that without getting sick. You know, it's resetting her whole thing because the birth control messed her hormones up real bad, which is why she had the chemical pregnancy i think because mm -hmm. it just makes sense mm -hmm. for her body to be resetting so i kind of knew she was gonna get pregnant because she got she almost got pregnant the first time and i guess her body was like hold on like we still gotta get this stuff up out you and as soon as she could she got pregnant and it's like all right that's what we needed so i feel like we supposed to have this baby of course he want another boy yes but i would like to have a girl last pregnancy i would love for it to be a female so we will be getting our ultrasound done in a couple of weeks and we gonna take the kids and everything we're gonna officially try to find out what this baby is so anyways that's all we've been doing for the last two months um 
And now we about to get back into regular scheduled programming. So y'all stay tuned and I will see y'all in the next video. Video. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.